Hello, this is my last video of the uh, Lego Grand Piano 21323 with Brick Smacks LED light kit with remote light kit install video. And I wanted to point out that when you install the LEDs on the, in the strips on the inside of the keyboard lid, make sure that they're far enough over from the edge don't get them too close to the edge or that when you close this the LEDs will interfere with it'll hit this piece right here so you'll see that I've got them mounted right here and the spacing is the same on this bottom piece here that lights up the keys So that part is pretty much the same. They show the the keyboard lid. Then it goes through. The cord goes in to the uh, slot right there, the hole. And then the LEDs are mounted underneath on this, what becomes the forward edge right here they're mounted on the back side of this as well so when you're done mounting those strips they'll look just like what the book shows you the instruction manual on the LEDs then they bring the cord through the hole where the peg goes that holds this piece here in place. So you see this peg right here. The wire comes out here and goes back. And of course that's where the uh, the module goes and everything else the uh, receiver and we'll go over that now the thing that I notice is that this LED instruction manual does not say that this is the bottom view but obviously this is where the cord comes out of the hole on the bottom of the piano where the pe peg excuse me goes that locks in the top part that I mentioned <clears throat> so you pull the cord through and then you can reinsert the lid and the front keyboard fascia or whatever you want to call this and then the pegs can be pushed back in from the underneath with the cord hanging out. And then you're going to take and mount the receiver. Another cord wire gets put in. Another little light strip which mounts basically up underneath near the the pedals, if you will, on the bottom. And then it plugs into the last expansion strip. Which gets mounted on the bottom. And then your battery pack plugs into this, as well as the wire that's coming out of the very back of the piano that's hanging down. Plus, also, we took the wire that was hanging down from the, uh, the music stand light, gets plugged into this receiver board, and then the lights from the front of the piano. So this continues the chain, basically. And then you've got your uh, battery pack, which I finally decided to leave it out. I thought about sticking it on the bottom of the piano, 
but the way that the lid is made on the battery pack it would make it kind of hard plus there's a switch on here that turns everything off the remote apparently doesn't turn everything off I thought it would I could leave the battery pack turned on but that's not the way it works so now we'll show a demonstration okay this is with the battery pack turned on but the remote has not turned anything on yet so the lights on the bottom of the piano and also the LED lights inside the piano come on then once we turn on the remote then you get all the other lights these would be the lights that are right behind this front fascia under the keyboard and also the lid lights come on and the music light comes on the one that illuminates the piece of music so now they're all on we can now take and make them flash we can brighten them dim them You can turn them red, green, all kinds of different colors. And there you have it. So there's the lights up on the lid. underneath so you can kind of see how that looked and we are done so thank you so much for watching and I appreciate it hope this helps bye